Hi everyone, my name's Judy. I'm with Empower Simcoe, Early On Child and Family Center here in Barrie. Today I'd like to share a story with you about dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Me too. Of course, dinosaurs don't live on the planet Earth anymore, do they? They're extinct. That means they died out many years ago. In fact, millions of years ago. That's a long time ago. This story today is about two different kinds of dinosaurs that lived in the late Cretaceous period. So that was over 75 million years ago. Boy, that's a long time ago. The first dinosaur I'm going to tell you about was Triceratops. Triceratops, that's a very long word. Let's sound it out together. Tri, ser, Ah, uh, tops, triceratops, triceratops. Good for you. Triceratops means three horned face. Hmm, let's take a look at a toy triceratops and see if it has three horns on its face. This is a triceratops. And as you can see, it has two big horns above its eyes and one smaller horn above its nose. And look, look at this. This is called a frill. And the Triceratops had a frill all around their neck. They used the frill and the horns to protect themselves from other dinosaurs. Triceratops were a very big dinosaur. They were as big as a tri and they weighed as much as two elephants. That's very heavy, isn't it? Can you imagine that? Two elephants, that would be very heavy. And look, Triceratops didn't have any teeth. Hmm, no teeth? How did they eat their food? Well, scientists believe that Triceratops, who were herbivores, that means they only ate plants, would eat some plants and then they would swallow some rocks and the rocks would rumble and tumble around in their bellies and grind down their food and help them to digest it. That's an interesting way to eat, isn't it? I'm so glad we have teeth to chew our food, aren't you? Now this story is about a triceratops named Tara. And Tara was a little girl dinosaur and she was ready to have a new baby brother or sister. Her mom had laid an egg. Did you know that dinosaurs hatched out of eggs? Yeah, they did. So Tara's mummy was off to eat some plants of her own one day. She was getting very hungry and the egg was at the top of a very steep hill. And she said to Tara, Tara, would you look after the egg and keep the egg cozy and warm while I go and eat some long grasses? Sure, said Tara. Tara was very excited about being a big sister to a little boy or a little girl dinosaur. Well, she sat beside the egg and she told it some stories and she sang it some songs. And her mummy was taking quite a long time eating the grasses and she fell fast asleep, and she was leaning against the egg. Well, the egg started to roll, and it rolled, and it rolled, and it rolled, and it rolled down the hill, and it went faster and faster and faster down the hill, and then luckily it stopped just before the river. Tara woke up, and she said, oh no, and she ran down the hill, chasing after the egg. When she got to the bottom of the hill, she had to push the egg back up the hill, and it was very heavy and hard work. Oh my goodness, I've got to get this egg safely up to the top of the hill again. She pushed and she pushed the egg, and just then she heard a loud roar. Roar! Do you know what that was? 
there was another dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period, and that dinosaur was known as Tyrannosaurus rex. Have you heard about that kind of dinosaur? Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest dinosaurs who ever roamed planet Earth. And look how big it was. Tyrannosaurus rex had a very long tail and big, strong legs. They had sharp teeth because they were meat eaters. They needed to chew their food and very, very good eyesight. They could see far, far away. And they were fast. They could run as fast as a bus. And they were as big as a bus. And they weighed as much as four rhinos. That's a lot of weight. Oh my goodness, they were heavy. Now this Tyrannosaurus rex was a little boy Tyrannosaurus rex and his name was Trexy, and he lived in the valley on the other side of the river. And on that particular day, he was outside practicing his roars. Hey, that sounds like fun. Would you like to practice a roar? Me too. Let's count to three, and we'll practice a roar together, just like a Tyrannosaurus rex. Are you ready? One, two, three. Roar! Now, Tyrannosaurus rex, or as we like to say, T-Rex for short. It's a very long word too, isn't it? Let's sound it out. Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex. T-Rex. That's much easier. So Trexy was out practicing his roars when he saw, with his really good eyesight, the egg come tumbling down the hill. Well, I think I'm going to go chase that egg, said T-Rex, Trexy, and off he ran. But he stopped just before the river because he remembered his mom and dad had said, T-Rex, never, never, never go into the river. It's not safe and you need an owl to make sure you're safe. Well, he stopped and he waited for the egg to come bobbling into the river. But the egg stopped on the other side of the river and Tara was busy pushing it back up the hill. He called out to Tara. Hey, that's my egg. Give it back. No way, said Tara. That's my baby brother or sister. I'm going to push it back up the hill where it belongs. Just then, T-Rex's mom and dad called, Dinner time! And T-Rex, Trexy, ran back home. Phew, what a relief. With all of that noise, Triceratops' mummy heard and came running down the hill. And she helped Tara and they pushed that egg back up the hill to the top. That was quite an adventure for that little egg, even before it had hatched. All that rolling and tumbling had moved something inside the egg, though, and it started to crack a little bit and a little bit and a little bit until, boop, out came a baby triceratops. <gasps> Mom! Let's call this baby Tilly. Oh, I like that name, said Mum. And so Tilly it was. Aunt Tara told Tilly all about the adventures she'd had before she was even hatched. Oh my goodness, it was a great story. And she called it Tilly Went Down the Hilly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe below.